Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me back here in Equestria War, playing as a Baccaran Republic. We gotta go over a couple comments, but let us let time go on as we are slowly, slowly building up a early cruiser. Which is probably not very great, but a couple comments, like I said. Uh, yes, I am a weirdo, because I actually really do like upgrading my navy. It's, it's really grown on me at this point in Hoi 4's life cycle that, you know what, I like making my navy better than other enemies, other AI, just to watch and just grow and get better with the Navy, I don't know, I'm a weirdo, I know. Uh, someone recommended I do Admiralty stuff, do a lot of naval stuff in this campaign, I hope so. We'll see what happens, I honestly have no idea what might happen in this campaign, except that we will end up in some sort of war probably eventually. But uh, yeah, uh, totally, that's, that's one of the reasons why I chose Baccarat Republic, because I knew they were pretty navally focused, which, you know, I love, I love a lot. And we're the RCSE member, cool. Yeah, shipmasters. We are definitely shipmasters, apparently. Uh, I was asking, like, oh, stable trading with... Oh. Hmm. Did we cancel trade or did they cancel trade with us? Regardless. Um, Bakara. Oh, wait. National focus. Cancel. Like, ho hold on. Oh, we're out of civilian... F oh, oh, oh. That's not good. Oh, wow. We can't do... We need... What are we spending... What the heck? Hold on. What under the fact... Oh, we... Terminated trade with... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's not going to be good for our little point system down here. Oh, boy. So, yeah. What are they saying? Look, I guess at this point, we can't do anything until we have more civilian factories, which really sucks. So, we're going to send delegations to the Northern Ponies. The isolated Northern Ponies are somewhat unknown factor to us. But most of the Ponies in the Coalition see them as their long-lost cousins. Either way, it is time we send some delegates and send some precious gifts to these Pony States so we can open up diplomatic contact. Uh, now, apparently, this is another one of the uh, comments that if you go down this far right path, Eventually, you can skip another focus for the Federation, which sounds really, really cool. So, we'll see what happens. That was actually not really cool that we lost that. A rather compromising situation. And we will go over more of the uh, comments as well soon. So, the attention of the populace has been captured by a titillating piece of gossip, which is swiftly spreading across the nation. After the recent party conference and Cotalia, allegations of inappropriate conduct have been made against several BFC party officials, known to be very close associates with the firm's cow herself. It has been reported that during the after-hour festivities which followed the conference, all members of debauchery, oh, debauchery, to place, ooh, hello there, as reversing the moral degradation, degradation of the Bakara is a key plank in the BFC's platform, reports of such conduct could prove especially damaging to the party. So far from firm, Scowl has chosen to remain silent about the incident, drawing criticism from those who accuse her of letting personal ties cloud her judgment. Oh, look at that. We gain a whole 2% electoral unrest increases, which is not very good. Oh boy, that is not good. We are 60%, which is, like I said, not bueno. That is really, really incredibly disappointing that we didn't get a more factories and stuff like that. Why does you hurt me so badly? Uh, anyways, let's see, we're at 50%. Let's see. Hmm, I still want more support for us. We really got hurt the ZDS economies right now. So, even though we could hurt the BFC as well. We're going to attract moderate socialists. I mean, I'm going to assume there's only so many moderate socialists. But, uh, that's okay. 50%? That's okay. Cool. The election is coming up soon. We're only... We are technically in the he ahead of everyone else, but... Dang, son, it's getting pretty darn close. But anyways, so basically, we need to get the points as fast as possible so we can form the Federation. Like, this is my goal right now, to beeline down this path as fast as possible, do the best we can. At this point, I really, really want to get to early mobilization, but we can't. So that's not bueno. That's really not bueno. Ooh, the Kaiv commune joined the Griffin Liberation Army. Not so red after all, I see. A wave of anger is sweeping the nation after a bombshell report in the Bakaranis Novus newspaper revealed that several prominent members of the ZDS has been embezzling government funds going back years. Brave Foam has expressed shock and indignation at the actions of the members, stating that the party has no place for ponies who engage in such malfeasance. This revelation has prompted severe blowback for the Communist Party, and spokes ponies for three other major parties have all taken the opportunity to question the sincerity and trustworthiness of the ZDS. It remains to be seen if the public will view this incident as the actions of a few bad ponies, or something which reflects a deeper corruption within the ZDS. To each according to their need. Huh? Oh man, we are grilling those commie ponies. Hmm. Sounds kind of hot, but don't take it in that way. Hmm. It was recommended in the comments that I don't do any of this stuff, really, until I finish up this part of the focus tree, which I hope we can do. Uh, but then once we finish the right side of the focus tree, then ch focus on removing illiteracy. So, we're going to keep going down this way. 
Alright, so we're kind of in a jam right now. How do I get more factories? Like, I need factories right now. This is not feeling good. I don't like this. This is not a good feeling. Is there any way I can get more civilian factories quickly? Like, through another focus, maybe. Because without any extra focuses, or that gives us factories, without any more factories, what kind of sunk? Yeah, we're going to need more than five. We have a total of five. God dang it. So, I guess we'll go ahead and do Economic Development Commission, just because... There's nothing else we can really do, Unfor except for the military stuff, but this is better to do right now. Unfortunately, our nation is in the midst of a prolonged period of economic stagnation. These circumstances call for the creation of a commission to take stock of the situation and recommend possible remedies. All I can say is I hope we win the election. Maybe we can get some factories. The Kingdom of Alenia is gone. The oh, Deer's Republic. Handsome Deer. Cuervo Cirola. Another comment was saying... Uh, for me to play, or asking me to play, as the Nazi bugs to the north of Equestria. So, by Nazi bugs, uh, Water Towns, uh, I guess? I'm going to assume that the person w taught, meant the changelings, which I do have on my radar, and I do want to play them eventually. I actually, at the time of this recording, had the thumbnails made for that campaign already, but we'll get there eventually. Ah, construction, good. Oh, yes, get, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I want more construction so badly. Uh, grab rad radio, that's fine. Please, make one more. All we need is one more, but it's being here in April. Why? Why do you hurt me so? Uh, let's see. Yes. That was pretty much most of the comments that I read from yesterday uh, that we really need to address. So, it is what it is. Okay, so we got seven... Oh, I don't know if we're going to have any more time to get any more support. If anything, we'd want to hurt the BFZ some more, but... Electoral... Ooh. When selected, we get some stability... When removed, electoral unrest. It's only 55%, so I'm not too worried about that. BFZ, when selected, you get 2% more voter support. So finishing the election at 70% more will have problems for us. Um, when removed. Alright, so we're 31% support right now. That is... Oh. The turn of Sombra. Oh, boy. Wait, hold on. Sombra's not good to have, is it? Free city of Ramal broke free from the influence. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, who are you? King Summer, you look kind of awesome. Uh, Supremacy? I think I like Supremacy now. Yeah, I've got to... How did that happen? i got to play that nation someday. You know, Equestrian War has so many different things you can do in it. It's amazing. I just wish I had more time. Even though I focus a lot on Old World Blues, but it is what it is. Design company. I get a... Oh, a couple of places to get building slots. That's not bad. <clears throat> more monthly population and less supply consumption. Or stick to the sea. Political power gain... I think overall that's probably better, but what does that do? Dockyard output, escort efficiency, political power gain resource. Ooh, that's not bad. Um, infrastructure, military factory. Oh, we can get down here. Uh, yeah, we might have to go down there. We might have to rush to that. Ugh, completing this focus on lock decisions to reduce our illiteracy. I'm going to do whatever I can possible, as quick as possible, to get more civilian factories. So, finish the Iron Bull Railway Plan. The growing importance of the river coalition trade has made the construction of countrywide coherent infrastructure a necessity. Further development of the Iron Bull Railway Network will stimulate the economy as well as strengthen public unity. Well, let's hope so. We have three days, three days. Are we going to win the election? <clears throat> Man, that sucks with the commies. Right at the end, it was found out they were taking bribes or taking do bad money things. The end of the run! The long, grueling, and highly contentious campaign of 1007 has at last come to an end, and in an unsurprising turn of events, the SDH has emerged victorious. The election featured many fiery voices agitating for radical change, but in the end, what of those calm and cool demeanor was one that resonated the most with the populace. Not taking much time to celebrate SDH, ministers have already begun crafting ambitious proposals for the upcoming legislation or legislative session. Although the road ahead may still be treacherous, one thing is certain, water, water lily, so as the trust of the nation. Carry on, water lily. Remember the national spirit, which means what? Oh, militia system, huh? Ancient Republic, that's good. So we get plus 15% more political power gain and acceptance of other ideologies or diplomacy goes down. Change in harmony. Nice, 51%. Ah, 2.3 a day, really 1.3, which is not bad at all. Oh, look at that! We got something over here. Like lilies in the rain. I'd... Oh, great! No tolerance for extremism. Curtail communism. United Riverlands focus. Oh, wait, hold on. So we probably still want to go down this way as fast as possible and then do this stuff. We stand for the little pony. I don't know why, but that reminds me of Huey Long for some reason. Free school. Oh! If we already have five research slots, we will not receive another one. So you tell me to do that one first. Free school books. Harmoniz Harmonism. Economically prop up other nations. Okay, okay, cool. 
science base. The Rosent Com. Population. I like that. The United Riverlands Committee. Oh, I kind of like that too. But we have to wait. Wait, hold on. Did this cancel? Um, that might have canceled everything. Well, crap. Pegacles passes away. Oh no! What will Nimbusians do now without their leader? Well, at least no one else is catching up so far, which is good. Promises of peace. Yeah, I, I never found that to be really good. The Deer's Republic. Okay, cool. Permission of the Deer's Republic. That's kind of cool. We're still arresting people. Effects have been removed. Ah, eh, we still get more harmony support. That's kind of nice. Just slight electoral corruption. Hey, fir tree. Okay. Civil availability and factory gains river development grants. Okay. For two years. Uh, do we get that point then? That is supposed to give us an extra point. No, the River Republic got it. Oh, oh no, no, no. Uh, I was so happy that we were able to maybe do something soon, but. Mm, 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 mm. Oh god, that finishes in January. When... Oh no, 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 no. We can't even deploy because we don't have any pony power. Oh. Why do you hurt me so? Why? Do I. Uh, improve working conditions. This will kill our consumer goods, but it might give us more stability, so we get less consumer goods factories. How many are we using right now? Two. <sighs> mm hmm. I need one more factory. How am I supposed to get one more factory more quickly? Civilian. Uh, we could wait for that. If I get more consumer. Getting more consumer goods might help, maybe? Uh. We got a beeline to this. So, President Water Lily. Oh, nice. On a uh, sunny day in the city of Bacara, a crowd gathered in front of the Capitol building to hear the victory address of the President Water Lily. The mood was electric. As the crowd was filled with ponies enthusiastic about the triumph of the SDH and hopeful about the future, confetti fell from the building rooftops when Water Lily stepped up to the podium to speak, accompanied by polite shouts of approval from her supporters. Fellow citizens began Water Lily. I'm incredibly grateful. But this victory is not mine. This is the victory for the little pony. She held up her hoof to scattered cheers. With the mandate we have been given, we will embark upon a new program to provide assistance to ponies who lack food or housing. We will focus on improving our education system so that all can have access to a full education and the opportunities that come with it. And we'll make greater investments in our nation's infrastructure so that maybe we be brought closer together. The welfare of every citizen will be guaranteed at this, a first wave of cheering swept through the crowd. But we must always remember that Picard is not in it alone, for where would we be without the cooperation of our coalition partners? Water Lily Spreader, who is out wide? Hmm. We must work tirelessly to forge closer ties to all our friends in other Riverland nations. I promise you that a day will come when all citizens of the Riverlands recognize the common history that binds us together. A day will come when all nations in the Riverlands form a union closer than any seen before. And that day will mark the beginning of a new era of peace, pro progress, and prosperity to a brighter future. Good. Oh, like Lily's in the rain. Nice. That finishes it off immediately. Lots of art, clear warmth. Eh, that seems like that nation always kills each other off. No tolerance for extremism. Uh. Complete, oh, completing this focus will allow us to automatically complete one focus in the United Riverlands Focus Branch for free through the decision screen. Oh, that sounds so tempting. Oh, man. Oh, look at that political power. Hmm. Oh, wait. So, we get less... We're going to get more civilian construction speed. We lo lose that. We can build things 20% faster and get more factories. Or... Oh boy. Oh boy. I could grab some of this, but it doesn't seem like that's really necessary for now. Um, anything over here? Sometimes this has some good stuff for us. It doesn't really look like it for now. I'm going to go ahead and go to early mobilization. Because right now, we're at 1,009. This, might, this gives us a 20% boost in building stuff up. Okay, so we've got one more to use for now. And that got us to August 1,008. Alright, well, that's okay. Maybe I should have chosen political power, but whatever. Just build the wazoo off of this stuff. Come on, complete the infrastructure. Come on, come on, come on. We don't have time. Infrastructure. Actually, if we... Oh. Aerite Aconite becomes a subject of the Griffonian Empire. Very good. Actually, that's at plus 15% construction speed. Nice. Nice. And, and because we got more infrastructure there, we did push it up ahead of time, even though it really won't matter too much right now. Uh, 55. Flipping days. Happy 1008, though. Oh, uh, we could do that. We'll do that after we maybe do this. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think we have to do this first. So, fun 
Lysica Textile Manufacturing. Textile production is a major contributor to the Bakaran economy and one of our premier exports. Now, new technological advances and process innovations have the potential to revolutionize the industry. Paying proper attention to the sector will ensure we do not get left behind. You get defense company and we get two civilian factories. Not one, but two. Now, two is important because we don't want to fall behind. If we lose one factory, oh, then, then we'll have to wait again. So getting two is actually pretty good. And then after that, we'll do our best to rush down this side of the tree. And if we get limited again, then I'll do Torchbearer of Unification. Because we want to get that free focus to help us keep pushing us ahead of time of everyone else. <sighs> that is disappointing. That is incredibly disappointing. Please, no one do that focus stuff. We are on his a historical. So Pyrrhus, Ku, and Nimbusia. Cool. Oh my goodness. Please don't hurt us. Please, 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 please. And please get a ship out. For the love of God. We actually have some fuel, which is nice. The Free, Free Republic of Rila. Let's go down, down here. Barad Magrocracy. Second Achillean Revolution. Cool. I mean, Kaib. Oh, the Commune. Griffin Liberation. Liberation Army. Oh, yeah, they would be red and black. Comrade General de Philip Redglad. I don't know why. I don't say he's like a Spanish anarchist, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Bacaran Republic. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that feels good. Okay. Assist the water towns. Well, we'll get one point of that. Um, water towns invest in Ponedia. These are 70 day god dang focuses. I don't want to do stuff that other people are doing. The gems of the mountains, roads and railways. That doesn't seem like it's focusing on anyone else. Uh, they're, uh, they're, are they, st they might be stuck too. Look at that. They might be stuck. They might not have enough factories. Okay, that's good. The River Republic. Uh, oh, mm, 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 mm. I'm glad I looked. I'm glad I did not invest in that one. So, don't do that one. Oh, there's Nimbusia. Help the farmers. Found the Unicorn Core. So, they're stuck as well. Wittenberg centralized the banks. Good. They, even, they don't even care about this status of Lake City. Uh, they could go down any way as well. So, what we're going to do... As much as I want to do that, we're not doing, obviously, this one. But we're going to invest in Deponia. So... Deponia is one of the last developed members of the treaty. To strengthen our relations with them and make our allies contribute more to the alliance, we can invest in Deponia. Purchasing a significant patch of forest for industrial development will surely help our friends along. Let's hope we don't lose it this time. Improve worker conditions. Well, we might be able to do that. We already have five. We have seven, which is good. We could get more stability now. You might as well. Oh, I want to say you might as well, but I'm going to get more political power first. Let's get some PP first. And for the love of God, please do not hurt my civilian factories. Oh. Please don't hurt them. Please. They're just factories, please. Hey, it looks like our army's doing pretty well, though. Tough bunker. Really good on defense. Wow. That's really good. Early mobilization. 20% construction speed. So now we should get even more factories done by June 29th. That's not bad. Good. 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 Nova Grafonia. The Crystal Empire looks like it's doing very well. Dear Republic. Ooh, Westkeep. Pekilia. Well, let's see. Faction map mode. The Reich's Pact has fallen apart. Carthinian Pact. Crown of Achillea. You know, Pony's Alliance, Griffonian People's Front, of course it would be a People's Front, and of course us, the River Coalition, Nimbusia. All these places have so many unique things going on for them, I have no idea what they're like. The Failed Revolution, oh boy. Uh, we're going to grab that, just so we get 1.66 a day, that's so much, and that's so nice. And then maybe we'll go partial mobilization, even though I really think it'd be good to, oh, camera, camera Sky ousted. See, now I'm so glad we didn't shoot that way. Uh, I hope you get Lightning Charm, I like charms. Well, charms. Hmm. Universal conscription, cool. Economic stimulus, river, capable, good. Good, don't do not do this side. Yeah, focus on the military stuff. Don't do this side. Traditionalists maintain control. I thought that was a coup. Man, look at that hair. Oh my goodness. Wow, and they're not doing anything over there, which is good. Oh, land redistribution. That sounds kind of communist to me, but whatever. Ah, good, 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 my friends. Let's immediately do build roads. Let's invest in Honeidham. Oh, Honeidham is one of the weaker members of the coalition. Their country consists mostly of rugged highlands. Is this supposed to be like Scotland or something? By investing in large-scale excavation, we can make a larger part of the country actually fit for industrialization. Surely the tribes will enjoy their newfound wealth. Great. Yes, we shall be the leaders of the River Coalition. Yeah, equestrian intervention in the crystal. Oh, what took them so long? That does not seem very good for equestria. This seems like they're going down a very dark path. Oh, there are two? Oh, that's because they got water town. So basically, we have no time to spare. Southern Roads. They have not a lot of war support. Now we're getting tech on all sorts of different sides, even though they got a lot of war support and stuff. Dark Magic. I kind of like that. 
Sarmbo's War Plan. I kind of like that too. Crystal Empire. I can't imagine the Crystal Empire being that strong. Oh, I got a couple, some of that, you know. Manpower. Not, probably not a lot of divisions. You guys have a ton of manpower and quite a few divisions potentially. You guys have a buttload of manpower, and that's a big old butt with a B. Then again, I don't know how you spell butt. I'm sure someone will find a way to spell it differently. Go ahead and grab this. It hurts our stuff right now, but that's okay. Disperse industry. It is 1,008, so let's grab some more output. And we still can't deploy a god dang cruiser. <sighs> You're breaking my heart, man. You're breaking my heart. Invest, invest, invest. It's so good to keep an... Oh, did you change your flag? Maybe not. I can't stimulus. All roads lead to the mountain. Queen White Star triumphs. Invented land. Oh. Mechanical computing. Very good, very good, very good. More output. Deponia. Limit the power of the Vigan... Vigan Agemont. Border Defense Fund. That's kind of cool. Adopt foreign doctrines. Experience of the Ages. Good. Thank goodness that the, uh, the AI is not doing what we're doing. Woo! We should, we should have that done too very soon. Radio. Oh, dispersed industry too takes forever. Achilles declare one barony of Pridia. Ah, very good. Now one last look. I like that flag. That's a really nice flag. Ah, da da da. Good. Build roads. Sure. So Ponadian shares a border with the Deer Clans to the south. The exact motives of these creatures are unknown to us, but it wouldn't hurt to prepare infrastructure in the area in case large troop movements are required. Who knows? Maybe this will help bring Ponad Ponadian's tribes closer together. Yes. Bakarn, we are literally. Investing in your country. Ah, that makes me feel a little better. Four instead of two. We have a slight advantage right now, but who knows how long that'll last. Uh, radio, good. We should probably focus on a land auction two. Mass assault pony auction. I'm not really sure which one to do, though. Spear of Firepower is always tried and true, so I'll probably go with that. Maybe next time I'll go grand battle plan. I usually don't choose that, but I kind of want to sometimes. I kind of want to. Oh, good. And Pridey is gone. Good. Vittenland. I love just looking around. This is, I like this little competition that we have here. This little competitive thing we have with all of our supposed allies here. Establish the Minute Mares? Is this supposed to be like New England or something? Oh, yeah. They have that stuff done. Oh, my goodness. What? This is a nice focus tree. River Republic. I've got to play as this group someday. Look at this focus tree. The Phoenix Pro... Hmm. Hmm. Cherry party. I was gonna say cherry pie. I'm like, hmm, I like cherry pie. Normally don't eat it though. Uh does not bend. Magic Oh man. Oh man. Oh look, wait, more daily political power, less naval experience gain. That's actually not bad. Capital ships. That reduces the amount of naval XP you get. But at some point, it won't even matter how much naval XP you get. You get more political power right now. 10% probably isn't worth it. I never choose stuff like this, but I'm going to choose it anyways because we can. Almost 2 PP a day. 2 PPs. Not 1 PP. Almost 2 PPs. That's a lot of PP. And I love it. Well, that sounds really weird to say out of context. So don't... You know, whatever. Whatever. Uh, River Republic is almost capable of assuming leadership. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, what else is everyone doing? Industrial revol Revolution. Yeah, that's good. Build roads. That's a probably good thing to do. Wait, hold on. You're building... Oh, wait. Hold on. Is that a... Hmm. Ah, I knew it was. I knew it was. But this is a state of Lake City. So we have a little bit of competition with everyone else here. You know what? If I don't feel bad then. If everyone else has to do this one as well, I don't feel bad about choosing this one already. That's actually really good that we did. That's actually really good since everyone has to do that. Minute Mares. Honor the Ancestors. Cool. And we can't do that. Hey, but we built roads in the other place. Alright, so before we do anything else, you guys are doing what? Industrial Revolution, no national focus set yet. If we, if I do it at the same time as the state of Lake City, who would win? Hmm. I'm just going to keep going with these guys for now since we've been doing them quite a bit. Uh, more must be done to lift the state of Ponyad up to the level of the rest of the coalition. We will make development grants available to the government. Some Ponyad Haydens might prefer to stay as isolated tribes, but they will soon see the value of cooperation. Yes. All right, so what are you choosing? Politicize the Jezeragrad Military Academy. That doesn't sound very good. Politicizing it. Open up the mountain. Honor the ancestors. Let's see. Integrate noble affairs. D 
Defensive Chief of Army. Cool. Very cool. We can do this as well. Army XP. Do we really don't need that though right now? Promises of Peace. That's such a bad thing to do. Uh, politics. If you want to read about the politics here, go right ahead because I'm going to close it very soon in about three, two, okay. Cool. We don't need to see that. This is important to see. So we have five to two to one. That's not bad. I like that a lot. And we're going to get rid of this in no next month. Literally a month from now, we're going to get rid of our Economic Development Commission. Which was, I think, a necessary evil for, you know, for now. Almost to a day. Ah! Stability's going up as well. Weekly change, yes, please. Uh, with that in mind, we are probably going to choose... Oh, I like that one. Silver Sail. We probably, though, should get some daily army XP. Because you never know if you might need it, and it help with our land auction. Because land auctions take quite a while to do. Nice. Almost... Even slightly more than two a day. Almost, almost again there. 1.94. That's so good. So nice. And how's this coming along? Oh my goodness. We chose. Oh, 40. Minus 45. Oh, small science base. No one gets up. Oh no. We have to take forever to build stuff now. Oh. June of next year we get stuff. So how do we raise this? I, we obviously don't want that. I mean, we get more political power because of it, but still. Uh, must be true. Substantial science base unlocked. Own different places. Cool. I let a day go by, just because I want to see if everyone else has chosen anything else. It's revolution. It's not like we lose anything either if we do that. Cool. Well, let's do this one. Development grants for Deponia. More must be done to lift the state of Deponia up to the level of the rest of the coalition. We will make development grants available to the government. The Deponians might be a little clingy towards their traditions, but with enough compensation, they might even see the value in progress. Now, what are you doing, you little suckers? Okay, good. Good. Military Science Committee, that is a great idea. You get a whole research slot, which actually I could probably use as well. But that's okay with me. We have other plans for now. Like, no manpower. If that's the case, go and do that. Let's make some support uh, equipment. And make some pre-industrial... Pre-industrial artillery? We're using cannons? Literal cannons? As much as I love Venice... Uh, they're, they're lagging a little bit. How are, you, how are we already, like, 27 minutes into this video? I don't understand sometimes how that happens. Like, I enjoy this too much. <laughs> the weirdest of civil wars. Yeah... I, I don't really understand how time just flies when you're having so much fun doing this. Crystal Empire is still holding out. Barely, but they're still holding out. Oh, and the changelings are murdering everyone else. Gratitude bureaucracy. Oh, they got a lot more war support now. Uh, can we see the casualty rate for this? Let's see. 123,000, Eh, it's not bad. Seems kind of difficult to win that war, though. But it probably should be. 6 2 1. That feels pretty good. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? The fall of Fjordland? Fjordland. Cool. We could keep going down this path, which we probably should. Ooh. We, we get a national spirit. Oh, more civilian construction speed. Yeah, I'll definitely do that one. And then I'm probably going to go down this way. Torchbearer unification. So that way we get another free focus so we can just go through this a little more quickly. I think that'd be a really good thing. Ooh, do we want to build faster? Mm, I want to say yes, but at the same time, I want more stuff. I'm greedy right now. Oh, we actually lose stability with that. That's not good. But go and grab partial mobilization. Because we get a little bit more fuel. We get maybe another factory to use, maybe. Uh, we get even faster times to produce factories, which is great, great, great. Look at all that fuel we're getting now. 90, almost 99,000. House of Iron joined the House of Avalon. Avian, not Avalon. Ah, uh, development grants, great. Now, before we do anything else, like normal, let's see. Open the Great Library for All. No national focus set yet. I, you know what? Let's grab this one. The River Development Company. The Coalition has informally done much to develop the most backward me member nations. To formalize this development, we need to create an independent River Coalition Company. We'll give them the experts and funding they need to develop industry and infrastructure for the entire Coalition. If they get all of our friends to help, we will all benefit. Yes. No, you better not do this one. Okay, good. You can mobilize. Go ahead and mobilize. Try to take someone else over. Not us, please. Partial mobilization. Actually, we've already gotten there. We're already on partial mobilization, which is great, and no one's complaining about it. I love it when people don't complain. Just minus, casual minus 30% research speed. No wonder things are taking go so god dang long. Oh! So bad. Well, look at that. 1.94. 80% stability? Not bad. Look at all that naval XP. Oh, and we have plenty enough uh, ships training. Who, who's our admiral? Ah, oh, Cobalt Wind. And all we have our destroyers doing stuff right now. That's okay. That's fine with me. The follow up service. The Alanians are getting desperate. The follow Oh, Schnikers. Whoa, oh, that is not good. Ah, but that is good. Construction too, I like that. Maybe get some better weapons. 
Yeah, weapons would be nice. That'd be very, very useful. Daybreaker Ascends. This, what the, huh? I've never seen this. What is this? Oh, supremacy, propaganda, militarized law, harmony and order, military. What the fuck, Maria? What happened? Redemption, punishment. Mm, punishment. Uh oh, my Empress Mother. What the fuck? The God Empress? Not the God Emperor, but the God Empress. Oh my goodness. I. I should really play this mod a little bit more often. I really should. I still can't deploy though. <laughs> uh, seven, two, one. Oh yeah, we're doing pretty darn well. And give me more construction speed. That'd be so good. I was a little worried in the beginning here that we were going to be limited by uh, our civilian factories because I I have no experience with this whatsoever. Hopefully these places are building themselves up so that when we take them over, we have stuff to take from them, basically. That'd be really nice. Ooh. Code acclimatization factor. Oh, breakthrough and defense. I like that one a lot. That's probably the best. That's pretty good, too. Though. That's pretty good. Naval stuff. Less deck size. Nope. Less armor. That's fine for even bigger deck size. More armor. That's not bad. Uh, Armor. Medium tanks. Tanks. Army drill. Organization. Can't raise this up any higher, which is fine. Whatever. Monthly population. I don't want to lower my stability anymore for now. Uh, you know what? Let's go with. We have to. Might we might have to end up building more refineries. Synthetic resources, though, not really helpful actually right now. Let's go ahead and grab this just because breakthrough and more defense at the same time. Always a win in my book. Always a win. Because empire. Ah, oh, that's sad. Then again, we are a harmony, a harmonious party. So I don't know why I'm saying it's sad, but whatever. All right, so we can keep doing this stuff. Civilian factory. Every. Controlled core state with less than five infrastructure will have one infrastructure built in it. Oh, economic community. Replace this with more political power, gain more stability. Huh. Hmm. Well, is anyone else doing anything here? The Emancipation Proclamation. Oh, they must have slaves there. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. George Bear's Unification. A day will come when all the states of the Riverlands recognize a common history but that binds them together. A day will come when all nations of the Riverlands form a brotherhood to bring peace and prosperity to the land. In this union, Bakara can either take the lead or be left behind, and so we shall take the lead. And it's only 50 days compared to the 70 days of these other ones, which is not bad at all. 70 day focuses, I'm sorry, that, that just hurts me internally a little bit. Establish a social fund. Fund River Trans? River Trans, okay. Uh, severe firepower, cool. <clears throat> Organization, that's nice. River Cranes. Infrastructure construction speed, not bad, not bad. Read the Convention on Racial Tolerance. Do we really want racial tolerance? I guess if we're a harmony, we should probably do that. River Parliament, not bad, not bad. River Central Bank, oh, not bad. The Rivet, a free travel area. And then River Union, okay. A United River Government. That sounds pretty cool. The River Army. The River Federation. All nations who are full you know, uh, join the Federation. Huh. River Federation. Pacify the North. Gain a research slot. Ooh. Pacify the South. Well, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Communism is banned. Well, is that such a bad thing? We tried. We wanted. We thought about that doing that before. We chose not to. Military austerity. Even. Oh, so they're doing the rails. Okay. So they're doing the rails. So let's not do the rails. We need to do that one too. Stalingrad in our town? Wait, wait. Our. They said something about our town. Oh, it's over here, okay. Our country, our country. Double diamond. Pass of equality. Our garden, trade relations, trade relations. Equality army. Torch bales of unification. So there's literally no point. Well, I mean, this one is economically prop up other nations. And then one tier standing points. It's not bad. Those half the community. So there's no point in doing that one, which is fine. Fund this project. We we get a civilian factory, which doesn't help us at all right now. Even though that will help us lead down here. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one because we get another point. The River Economic Community. The RCS the RCSC has been a resounding success. We might not push and try to integrate more sections of the economy though. This will make our economies less dependent on the outside and more resilient. To open this plan we shall propose that the RCSC will be transformed into the River Economic Community. It is time to call for another treaty conference. That means a lot of reading. 
Promises of Peace. Same old, same old. Oh, good. 15 factories. Good. Jolly good. I want to increase the size. Oh, Forever Sun Celebration. Should we be worried? I want to increase the size of these because, you know, 12 combat width with no support companies really hurts me internally a lot, but uh, I don't know. You know what hurt? I could hurt my civilian factories. Go hurt my civilian factories. Hurt my stability. Comet side of the appearance of a bright comet in the night sky caused a panic among our ponies of the nation. Some of them believe that comet is an omen of the end of the world or that the penalty for all of our deeds will soon come. The end is near. Why do I have so many stupid ponies in my nation? May the gods be merciful. Windigos are coming back. Windigos are coming back. Oh, look at that political power. A long day in Vetter. Send condolences. Bolt action rifles. Those are fun. I'm not gonna lie, those are those are a lot of fun to use. Go ahead and do that. We need a lot of steel for that, even though it doesn't even matter right now. Uh, anything else here? What is everyone else doing? Modernize, that's fine. They're doing the projects. Broad illiteracy, so it's even worse than nuts right now. Oh, wait, do we have that National Spirit too? Oh, nice! 5% for a lot of things, good. Oh, wait, did they get a better one, though? No, they did not, good. Oh, oh, they're doing this at the same time! Oh, that's so mean for each other. Ah, uh, I'm glad we didn't choose the same one as they did. Yay! 1009, more research speed. This is why you have to look. You don't want to make bad mistakes. Long term economic planning. Uh, oh, mm, 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 mm. You're still going for it, though. Oh, they're doing industrial projects, so that is not good. Oh, wait, don't we get decisions? Ah, so I close it for no reason then. Uh, oh, I can complete the focus right now. Industrial projects? You know what? To really screw over other people, assist Fa Firebrook. Let's see. They're doing industrial projects. Rail projects. So what we could do is... Let's see. For this one... Oh, actually, that won't even matter because everyone has to do that. Oh, so we have to do that independently of ourselves as well. Okay. Hmm. Assist Fawbrook. You do get a point getting down here and offer membership to the north. Oh, you know what? How about I ask you guys this. Which of these... Should we go for for our free point? Assist Farbrook, RDC Industrial Projects, RDC Rail Projects, or establish a social fund. Excuse me, so establish a social fund. But I think that's all the time for that we have today. It was really interesting, especially in the beginning where we were struggling to maybe get another civilian factory. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, like I always say. Check out my Discord link if you haven't already in down in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we shall maybe get we will get closer to forming the river coalition or federation thank you a lot thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day